This could be us. So back to what I was saying. This could be us. Hello everyone, my name is Andraj. Today I am going to present about homeostasis in animals and plants. What is homeostasis? Homeostasis refers to the maintenance of the internal environment in the body of an organism such as temperature, water, pH and blood pressure to be in a balanced and stable condition. Homeostasis in animals. So there are some examples for, for that. Snake. Snakes are more active during the daytime using the sun's rays to warm their bodies as they hunt for food or just simply bask in the sunlight. They will also hide in shady spots or burrow underground during the hottest part of the day. Snakes usually spend cold weather months in a state of hibernation. Next is Tiger. Tigers maintain homeostasis when it comes to nutrition. Their brain tells them when they require water or nutrients. With that, the body temperature is maintained by eating food and producing energy for the body. If the tiger need to cool down, they often will find cool spots swim in the water or pant. After that we got crocodile. Crocodile's skin is especially um, designed to absorb, absorb heat and maintain. Crocodile's body temperature is around 30, uh, 30 to 33 degrees Celsius. To achieve that, they move back and forth between warm and cool parts of environment. Finally, lion. Lions can't sweat as we do. The best way for them to cool down is by resting in the shade or on high rocks where they can catch a cool breeze. Lions are able to keep this balance in their body system so that they can survive, hunt for food and remain cool in the heat. For next, we are going to look at homeostasis in plants. Homeostasis in plants Plants regulate water content during hot and cold days by a process called transpiration. During transpiration process, plants lose water from the leaf in the form of water vapor to the surrounding through the stoma. So this is the diagram of the process called transpiration this is how it all happens for the step one is the roots of plants absorb wa water and minerals from soil after that transpiration process on leaves produces force that draws water from the stems of plants after that we got import importance of transpiration to plants so the first importance of transpiration to plant is transpiration helps plants to absorb and carry water and minerals from from the soil to all parts of the plant and the second important is ev evaporation of water from the leaves cools the plants during hot days so that's it for today and thank you very much